I was recently able to get this Voodoo 3 for cheap, less than $100. It's actually pulled from an arcade machine, but does it work on a regular PC? Let's find out. The Voodoo 3 was launched in the late 90s at the peak of 3DFX dominance in the 3D accelerator market. At the time, many games shipped with support for the 3DFX Glide API. You had to have a Voodoo card to play these games at their best. Today, Voodoo 3 cards sell for some decent money, especially the PCI version, which you can install alongside an AGP video card like a GeForce to create a best of both retro machine. With DirectX and OpenGL games driven by the more powerful GeForce and a Voodoo card for Glide games when you need it. This is exactly my goal. I recently built a retro gaming PC from an old Dell Optiplex and I want to add a Voodoo 3 alongside the Radeon GPU for some Glide glory. Taking a browse through eBay, the prices were too rich for me. So I set up some save searches and waited. After a few days, this result popped up. At $95, this was perhaps two or maybe three times cheaper than the other Voodoo 3s out there. The price sounded too good to be true, and perhaps it was, but to find out why, we have to go back in time. It's 1999, and Voodoo graphics are ruling the PC realm for their powerful 3D features and competitive price. The hardware was tempting for arcade manufacturers too, and some picked it up. Konami embedded Voodoo 3 hardware into their Viper arcade platform, and Incredible Technologies also used it for Golden T, a golf simulator that used trackball traction. And that arcade connection brings us back to our eBay listing. This Voodoo 3 was pulled from a working Golden T arcade machine. Now, this is where things get interesting. By internet rumor, Incredible Technologies cleaned out the entire supply of Voodoo 3 cards. And faced with a supply crisis, they actually started manufacturing their own Voodoo 3 cards. Unfortunately, these self-assembled Voodoo boards are not compatible with PC. Usually lacking a video BIOS, they were designed for arcade only. So the question is, do I risk buying this cheap Voodoo? Is it going to work on my PC? Or is it arcade only and useless without a huge golden tea cabinet? After some internet research, things look promising. The arcade only boards have this nice blue hue. And as you can see, the BIOS chip is indeed missing. Compared to our eBay listing, it's a more traditional green color. And by contrast, it does have a video BIOS chip. I'm no expert, but this is convincing enough for me. So here it is, our Voodoo 3 2000 in all its glory. A quick install into the retro PC and it's bad news. I get this hardware error, and although the cursor is blinking, the machine is fully frozen. Not even NumLock works. As an attempted fix, I flashed a fresh copy of the Voodoo 3 BIOS. I'm unsure if it's the core issue, but after a reflash, the card is much better behaved. No more error, and crucially, I'm able to boot. Right, I'm launched into Windows 98, and I have the Voodoo 3 drivers installed. A quick 3DFX demo, and it works great. The donut spins. Next up, a game that runs best on Glide. It's Need for Speed 2 SE. And as you can see, it looks and runs great. Dropping to DOS, let's try out the 3DFX patch for Tomb Raider. Okay, nice, this works too. The Voodoo is also great for DOS games in general. The VGA output is very high quality. It's highly compatible with DOS games. And lastly, it applies a light filter that gives games a pseudo CRT look. I think it looks nice, definitely better than the scaled digital output from the Radeon. Lastly, I installed the Voodoo drivers on Windows XP and created an extra hardware profile so I can toggle back and forth between the Voodoo and Radeon GPU. 
For most XP games, I'm using the Radeon, but it's nice to have the Voodoo card and glide support when I need it. So, mission successful. After an initial scare, this arcade board works great on my retro PC. It's a great add to my retro build and it gives me access to a new glide library of games. I was lucky to find this bargain and I hope the info helps with your own hardware hunting. As always, comments and feedback down below. Enjoy!